Go ahead and find your comfortable seat, resting your hands in your lap wherever is most comfortable. Nice long spine, roll the shoulders down, neck is nice and long. Gently closing over the eyes, softening the features of the face. And taking a couple of mindful breaths in, mindful breaths out. Bring your awareness, your attention into the nostrils. And just peacefully, calmly observing the breath as it flows in and flows back out. When you're ready, gently blinking open the eyes and make your way into child's pose. Knees are wide, toes are touching, sinking the hips back towards the heels, walking the hands out in front of you, lowering the head down. Take some breaths into that lower back area. And then extend the breath from the lower back down into the glutes as well. The area of the body that we're focusing on today. Inhaling as you fill up the belly. Extend the inhale to the lower back and then wrapping around the glutes as well. Exhaling fully. Take your move as nice and easy as you come up into a tabletop position. Because we're in tabletop for a little bit, to begin class, you might even like to have a blanket underneath the knees if you like. From your tabletop, deciding where your inhale and your exhale goes, because coming into your cat cow. You might decide to inhale as you come into cow pose, or maybe you exhale. Deciding where you breathe as you arch into your cat pose, just warming everything up here. Adding in some torso circles if you like. Just moving however it feels nice here. Taking a couple more rounds. And moving back into your neutral tabletop. So you want to have a nice flat back here. Shoulders over top of the wrists, hips over top of the knees. Squeeze the belly button in, activate the core. And then shift the weight into the left hand. Palms grounded into the mat. Take an inhale, float the right arm up, fingertips reaching forward. And then as you exhale, extend the left leg nice and long. So just having the left foot flex here, toes pointing down. Make sure you keep the navel activated, squeezing the belly button in. And still breathing, always breathing. Taking three more breaths here. Reaching through the right fingers, reaching through the left heel. Keep squeezing the belly button in. Bring your right hand down, but keep the left heel up. 
We're going to do little pulses here. So just inhaling, exhaling as you gently pulse. Feeling that awareness and movement coming from that left butt cheek. Seeing if you can keep that left hip down nice and square as much as you can. Keeping the core activated. And just pausing the pulsing here. And as you inhale, bring the left heel towards the left butt cheek. And then exhale, straighten the leg out. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale and be gentle as you bring that left knee back down feel free just to take some pressure out of that left arm in particular just taking any organic movements that feel nice here and we swap sides so this time we bring the weight into the right hand. Inhale as you extend the left arm long. And then exhale as you extend the right heel out behind you. So go ahead and squeeze the belly button. Neck is nice and long here. Left fingertips reaching forward, right heel reaching back. And just pausing here for a moment. Feeling grounded through that right hand. Squeezing the right butt cheek. Seeing if you can keep that right hip level with the left. One more breath. And bring the left hand down. Keep the left heel extended. Make sure that the core is activated here. And then we're just pulsing as we just naturally breathe in and out. Keep squeezing the belly button in. Pausing the movement, inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Inhale, bring the right heel towards the right butt cheek and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep it going, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Gently lower the right knee down, take any movements that feel nice here. Maybe bring the hips down and then rolling forward. Maybe a few rounds of cat-cow, whatever feels good. And come back into your neutral tabletop. From your neutral tabletop, we're going to extend the right leg back out behind us again. So foot is still flexed. Squeeze the belly button, lengthen the tailbone down. So we've got nice flat back, neck is nice and long. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, bring the foot out to the right. So just toe tipping the floor out to the side. Inhale back to center. And then exhale over to the left. So crossing over that left leg. Inhale center, exhale right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Squeeze the belly button, activate that right butt cheek as you inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going. Making the movements as slow as you need to, that you can keep the core active and really moving from that right glute area. Taking one more round. Finishing on the left. Coming back to center and release the knee down. You might even like to give the arms a little break here, a few little wrist rotations. And let's do the left side. 
So setting up your alignment first and then go ahead and extend the left leg long. And just take a moment here to cinch in through the waist so we're activating the core, squeezing the belly button. Left foot is flexed so heel is pressing back. Taking an inhale. As you exhale, bringing the toes out over to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Going in your own time. Making the movements purposeful, being very mindful of activating that left glute area. Keeping the core activated so that you can protect the lower back. And breathing. Letting the breath guide your movements, center, left, and then right. Doing one more round. Finishing on the right this time. And then bring the knee back down. Maybe give the arm a little rest, a little rotation. And go ahead and sink into child's pose just for a moment. Rolling up through your tabletop, tucking your toes, take a nice easy lift into your downward facing dog here. Maybe moving the blanket if you've had a blanket underneath the knees. Feel free to make this a moving dog if you need to, pedaling the heels. If you prefer to be still in your dog, then you can do that as well, no worries. Three more breaths here. Easy gaze forward, making your way up to the top of the mat, into a forward fold. You feel free to have the feet ahead width apart or the toes together, heels apart, you choose. Let's just take a few more breaths here. And because we're working on the glutes today, maybe expanding your inhale to the lower back area and then spreading across the glutes. In your own time, coming to standing, rolling through the shoulders, standing in Tadasana at the top of your mat, lengthening the tailbone down, drawing the shoulders down the back. On your next inhale, arms open wide, gaze lifts up. And as you exhale, bend the knees, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale as you step back into plank pose. You can modify onto your knees if you prefer. And then plank pose, just making sure that the core is active. Shoulders are over top of the wrist, feeling nice and strong here. Taking an inhale, lifting the right leg up. So activating that right glute area. As you exhale, hug the elbows in and bring everything down nice and slow. Inhale up cobra or upward facing dog if you prefer. And exhale downward facing dog. Next inhale, float the right leg up. And as you exhale, hug the knee into the chest, roll shoulders forward and step that foot through to the front. Keeping the back heel up, we're coming into high lunge. So lengthen the spine, press into that front foot, ground through the ball of the back foot, and then big inhale lifts you up. So we're just gonna get our foundation in our lunge before we begin to move a little bit. So make sure that the right knee is directly over top of the right ankle. Lengthen the tailbone down. You might even have a slight bend in that back knee. And then see if you can draw right hip back, left hip forward. 
Now, if you would like to stay here, feel free to do that. Otherwise, as we inhale, lift the hips. And as we exhale, soften down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And soften. Five more in your own time. Once you've done your fifth little dip, making your way back into down dog. Walking it out, pedaling the heels. Take an inhale, float the left leg up. And as you exhale, roll forward, step that foot through to the front. Squeeze the inner thighs in, ground down through the foot, through the front foot, ball of the back foot, and inhale up. When you're ready, adding in your lifts and your dips. Using your breath to lift you up and soften down. Taking three more. Once you've finished your three, making your way back into down dog. Pausing in your downward facing dog for three more breaths. You choose if you find stillness or maybe you move around a little. Gazing forward, bending the knees, making your way up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale as you fold. Softening the knees, big inhale, wide open arms as you come all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Release your hands, close your eyes. Gently blinking open the eyes. Next, inhale, arms open wide, gaze up. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, step back into your plank. Pause here for a moment, set up your alignment, lengthen the tailbone, squeeze the belly button, doming through the upper back, neck is long. Take an inhale, lift the left heel up. Feel that left glute activate. And as you exhale, hug the elbows in and bring everything down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, you choose. And exhale, downward facing dog. So we're going to do our little lunge dips again. This time starting with the left leg. So the left leg floats up, inhale. And as you exhale, hug the knee in, step that left foot through. 
Setting up your foundation, activate the core and inhale up. This time with our little dips, we're going to add a little twist in there. So we take an inhale, lift the hips. And as we exhale and soften, we're going to open to the left. Inhale back to center. And exhale, open to the left. In your own time. Nice, slow, purposeful movements here. Taking your time so that you can feel the engagement of the glutes. Two more. Make sure you're breathing. Once you've done your second one, making your way back into down dog. Walking it out. Maybe finding stillness, catching the breath. Inhale, right leg floats up. Exhale, step the foot through. Ground down through the feet, activate the core. Inhale, floats you up. Twisting to the right this time, we inhale and exhale. Moving in your own time, nice, slow, purposeful movements here. Awareness is around the glute area. Two more. Coming back into your down dog. Nice and easy as you inhale, bring your chin to your chest, roll forward. So we're coming back into our high plank here. And just one more little burst before we come back down onto the mat. So as we inhale, we lift the right heel and exhale lower. Inhale left, exhale. A little bit faster now. Keeping the core engaged and the tailbone lengthening down. Make sure that you're breathing. Two more. Bring the knees down, sink back into child's pose. Make your way onto your back and just hug the knees into the chest. Take a little roll from side to side. Taking a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, draw the knees in a little bit closer. And just pause here with the knees drawn in. Bring your awareness back down to the glute area. And as you inhale, extend the inhale to wrap around the glute area. So we're sending some breath down onto that area of the body. Inviting some prana, some life force down there. Keeping the left knee in, extend the right leg long, and then draw your left knee over to the right with your right hand. Your left hand can come out nice and long. Maybe looking over to the left here. Nice, easy, draw back to center. Right knee comes in, left leg extends. 
Using your left hand to draw the knee over to the left. Right arm comes wide, looking out over to the right. Go ahead and bring it back to center. Take one more little hug of the knees, maybe a little roll from side to side, some circles with the knees. And then when you're ready, come into your Shavasana.